Good morning, it is Saturday today. I have got loads to fill you in on, including <laughs> um, But right now, Mum and I are popping out because I've got three house viewings today and we're going to two right now. There's two houses literally smack bang opposite each other that are both for sale in Burgess Hill. And so we're gonna go and quickly look around both of those. And then a bit later on, I'm going to be one in Horsham as well. Mum's got a snazzy shoes on today. Look at you. Um, right, onwards. We are Hi, running out of time. I didn't realise Mum was going to drive, so I can talk to you now. Um, so we went for a house viewing in the week in... Delivery? Not for me. No. Don't you scare me. <laughs> um, we went to a viewing in Crowborough, the one I was getting excited about in my last vlog. We went to that. Um, it was even better in real life than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but we've come to the conclusion that Crowborough is just not a sustainable place to live in terms of London and our connections to London and how much time we spend in London. It was one train an hour and they didn't come back very late. So it was a massive shame, but I think... And can it... I just add that the customer service from that estate agents was absolutely shocking because they didn't ask you any questions at the time about your position mm. and she hasn't done any follow-up at all. No. She was think. far more interested in looking glam and driving a little sports car. So, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> Well, the ones that we're going to today took a lot of details from me over the phone. Well, that's so good. Yeah, so they already know what I'm looking for, so that's good. Yeah, so we've ruled out Cobra. So really at the moment, we're looking at Hayward Teeth Burgess Hill, um, Horsham, which I think both of us are quite excited about, and maybe even Hawley, but at the moment, I don't think there's much there either. So wish us luck. The ones we're going to today are two bedroom houses, one slightly bigger than the other. Open mine. Yeah, open mind. Yeah, these two are a bit more kind of doer uppers than the others that we've been looking at. Like the Horsham one that we're going to later is just already stunning. But these two are going to need a little bit extra work. We are back home now. Both properties definitely needed work. One much more than the other, which doesn't fill me with joy. I don't think I'm a doer upper person. And um, the other one only needed a couple of improvements and was, has quite a lot of nice space. So, one to think about there. But we'll see this Horsham one later and then we can think more in detail about them. How are you doing, Salt? Good. If you watched my last vlog, you will know that I also ordered this leather jacket. <laughs> and basically, I'm obsessed. But I bought the 12 and I was showing mum and mum was like, that's too small for you, you can't like do it up. And it was a bit tight. So I thought, well, I'll order a 14 and then I'll try them both and see how I feel. Anyway, this is the 14 that I decided to keep and I've sent back the 12, but I am just obsessed. I feel like an ostrich, but also a bat. And I love it. If you would like it, it was from Superdry and it's half price of the sale at the moment. Yeah. I made some salted caramel brownies in the week. I'm just putting you in the cupboard. From a BBC Good Food recipe, and I used the um, the carnation vegan condensed milk to make them, which mm, I think they'd be better without it. But, th well, this is what they look like while I was making them, or when I finished making them. Um, but they're delish! And honestly, if you've never made a salted caramel brownie before, I would recommend it. It's got a layer of salted caramel in the middle, and on the top. Mum and I, when we go out to the um, next viewing, are gonna go and get a KFC. <laughs> We've got a couple of sore heads today, so she wants to get a, a chicken burger and I'm gonna get some original recipe chicken. A non-contender, really. It's, uh... We're in Horsham, uh, just outside the masonette waiting for the estate agent and first impressions are very good nice nice area really nice area loads of really nice houses around here and just the building is stunning and it's got shutters and the bricks are beautiful as well solid victorian house mm. we just got back from a viewing in horsham and <sighs> My heart was beating so fast, I could barely breathe. I was filming a video for Elliot, and I like can't breathe in the video, I can't get my words out. It sounds like I'm running a marathon. I was like so out of breath, my heart was just pumping. It's so lovely, it's so small, but it's so perfect. And, oh God. <laughs> so 
So um, Elliot's gonna uh, try and view it either on Wednesday or Saturday is when they can do it. Um, and <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say anything. And then we have to make a decision. Oh my god, I just want to cry. Oh dear. It is a little while later now. I had a little nap on the sofa, which was delightful. We've got the fire on now. Craig is in the kitchen making us dinner tonight and he's doing a salmon tray bakey dish from the Harry Biker book, obviously. And mum and I are basically like looking on Facebook Marketplace for cute house stuff. Um, we found some really nice sofas, like burnt orange velvet. Not velvet, not velvet, I take that back. But orange, <laughs> love. And now I'm playing Uno. Oh, you can't see, but I'm playing Uno. Here it is, salmon tray baked, sweet potato, broccoli, black beans. <gasps> Yum. That dinner was a 9.5 out of 10. And I also had um, one of my salted caramel brownies microwaved with lacto-free cream. It was so good and I'm not in focus. Here we go. Um, but it's now 8.30 and we're doing a Zoom with Elliot's family today. We're going to play some games, I think, and just have a bit of a catch up. We haven't spoken to them in ages. Um, so that's the plan. <sighs> just been on the, uh, the Google Meet for a couple of hours. We played seven rounds of Scattergrees and I came second. And we showed them the video of the house that I took today too. <laughs> Um, so we had a good old chat about that, but um, I'm off to bed now. I'll see you in the morning. I've got absolutely no plans for tomorrow. Zilch. Not one. Maybe some more baking. Maybe some cooking. I don't know. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs>